In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to duplicate objects in a circle, also how to rotate all of the objects on a center axis point and separate each object so they can be removed, resized or rotated individually. I've activated the keycast key so in the bottom left hand corner some of the uh, shortcuts I use will be shown as I said in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. First of all I'm going to use this cube but I'm going to make it slightly smaller so I'm going to press S followed by 0.5 and left click. I'm going to press 7 followed by 5 on the numbers pad to go into top orthographic view. And then with my pointer over the red arrow hold down my left mouse button and drag this cube over about three grid squares. It isn't important, you can go over four or if it's two and a half it won't make much difference to this uh, tutorial. Now press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode and to the left of the screen slide this slider down In the extrude section, look for the word spin and left click on it. Now, this gives you the options. And what it's set at is nine steps, which means you've got nine cubes at 90 degrees, and you can type in whatever you want here. So, for instance, if I typed in where it said angle, if I left click and type 360 and hit return. I'll have nine cubes where it says steps where it says nine if I typed in 12 and hit return I'd have 12 so this is a uh, similar to a clock face but what you will have is an additional cube you'll have the original cube um, so I'm just going to left click on the red arrow and drag it out so you can see it and I'm going to remove this, so I'll press X and then left click on vertices. Now if you press tab on your keyboard to go back into um, object mode, one thing you'll notice is the axis point for these cubes is at the original, where your original cube was, which if you want to rotate them, in the middle, ain't much good. Now one way around this is if you hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh then next to single vert left click on add single vert. Now this for some reason takes you into edit mode so you're going to have to press tab again to go into object mode. Now if you right click on the cubes, hold down shift and then right click on the middle axis point then hold down control followed by J these now will be on a single um, so on a center axis point so if you rotate them you can do this now I'm just going to um, backtrack and get rid of this um, axis point so I'll hold down control followed by Z, Z again. Okay. Now if you go into um, if you press tab and go into edit mode you'll only be able to select all of the items. Now you can um, you can edit these separately like this by first making sure none of it's selected pressing Z and then for instance if you press C you should be able to select all of the vertices on say this cube up here right click to um, come out of the uh, circle select and then you can uh, I don't know, resize it on the Z axis, so press S, Z, and you can do this. I managed to press another um, axis point here, but no, anyway, it doesn't matter. Or you can do it individually. 
xg grab it over <coughs> that's one way of doing it or at editing individual items or if you press A and highlight everything you might have to press it twice press A twice and then press P left click by loose parts and then press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode and I'm just going to go into solid view again by pressing Z now you should find that you can move each individual cube in the object mode um, and also if I press one on my numbers pad I can do things like resize it by pressing SZ on the um, well just increase it in size on the Z axis or SX I can do it this way that's all there is to it really obviously you know this is using cubes you can use any shape you want or create a shape as I did in the original picture um, a sort of a simple fan effect um, and that's about it um, if you've followed um, literally everything I've done and you want to replace the once you've separated them you've got to reselect them these uh, cubes so I'll downshift and Reselect them, and I think the axis point is still there. The single vertices is still there. Control J, and again we can rotate this uh, around the axis point. And that is basically it, I think. Thank you for watching. Cheers.